Hello, everybody. Welcome back to another episode of Hermitcraft. That's right. We got another episode for you guys today. Guys, what I want to work on today is finally start looking at the walls of this base. Mm -hmm. Currently, we have the rough stone walls with like ores and other such things sticking out of it. It's not looking so good. Not so good at all. So yeah, what I'd like to do is start cleaning this up. I think we're going to start, first of all, by removing the ores, and then we're going to start looking at putting some blocks in front. Uh, yeah, the reason why I want to swap out these blocks from from uh, the ores to stone, even though we're going to cover them up, is because I do plan on putting some slabs in there, and then I don't want to see behind the slabs and see ores behind, right? Yeah, that's going to look kind of bad, I think. So what I'd like to do is just have it all nice, clean slate. And then when we put slabs in front here and there, we won't see any random ores and I won't have to hunt around behind the slabs and check it all out. Um, so yeah, in preparation for doing this, I was kind of looking at a storage situation. I was like, all right, all right. So we wanted stone. Where's our stone? Aha, stone right here, right? The first one, of course it is. How much stone do we have? Wait, that's it? That's all the stone that we have? How did I go through this entire build, or I guess this entire dig, dig this all the way down over like, what was it, three live streams? And only have this much stone? It's like, I know I had more than this. No, no. Aha! Yes, <laughs> past Hypno was smart and moved these shulker boxes full of stone up and out of the way so when our sorting system puts new stuff in, it'll filter down to here and then like any overflow will filter into here. Yeah, so I kind of freaked myself out a little bit as like, oh no, we are completely out of stone, but no, we do in fact actually have quite a bit of stone remaining, so that's going to be nice. But yeah, I think we're just going to go ahead and go through and just do a very simple thing here. Let's grab a few stacks. Yeah, we'll just pop out all the blocks that are not stone and we will just replace them with stone. I know, super, super complicated. So after clearing all the walls, this is the amount of stuff that we got that we replaced with stone. I mean, we got some pretty good things. This andesite's definitely going to be useful for us. Let's go ahead and we'll just uh, run our sorter here and send all that stuff into the chest. Get it out of this chest here. Put it all away where it should go. Mm -hmm. All right, we'll let that run. So yes, the walls are now all completely nice and clean. I did leave the dirt at the top. We're not going to be messing with that for now. Uh, when we do place in the the wall that will be going in front of the wall, the, the wall that will be going in front of the stone, I guess, if there's dirt showing, then I'll replace it then. Oh, yeah, look at that. I did, I did miss some gravel right there. That's fine. That's not something that would stand out very much anyway. The dirt definitely would. But yeah, the uh, the stone is what we're looking for. Okay, so yeah, now that we have this all done, I think what I'm going to end up doing is I'm going to, let's say, this wall right here, this section and this section, I'll go ahead and just start building this up, kind of give you guys an idea of what we're going to be looking at. Uh, one of the things is that I did want to do with this is currently I dug, well, I, I placed this cobblestone all along the terrain right where the original terrain was before we started digging and I've left it there ever since. Now I did see that I missed some spots around the base when I was checking out what I want to do with the walls here. So yeah, this, there's a piece of stone here because this column was never removed originally. We're missing a block here. I don't remember why we're missing a block, but that's been like that for uh, months now. Uh, over here, yeah, there was two columns right next to each other that I never I never replaced, but we did have cobblestone up there. So yeah, that was a little weird. We only had three blocks on this side exposed and we had five on this side. I don't know how I never noticed that, but yeah, sure enough, I think there was like a total of four or five of these columns. Anyway, 
Uh, yeah, so we're gonna go ahead and do that, but what I'm gonna do is, uh, or I guess, getting back to what I was saying, I laid down the cobblestone up here all along the terrain. Didn't matter what height it was, just as long as it outlined that circle, and then I deleted all the blocks directly below it, and that's fine. But what I think we're gonna do, when we build up the inside of the walls here, we're just gonna go up to Y115, which should be the same exact height. Whoops, I'm like pressing all the wrong buttons. Same exact height as these blocks right here, the bottom of the mob farm, these solid blocks below the tinted glass, right? So yeah, the walls will go up to that height there, and I think that's where we're gonna stop. Um, but yeah, we're not going to follow the terrain, so like the walls, especially over here on this low end, are gonna be sticking up, and it's gonna look kinda weird, like it'll just kinda be floating up here. We'll have to adjust the terrain, and probably place some stone behind it, or whatever. We'll get to that eventually, but for right now, let's just work on this section here, like I was talking about. Oh man, just doing that little section? That got me hungry. <laughs> so yes, this is what we're looking like for the the wall pattern here. Yeah, so doing this little section didn't take super long, but, you know, to repeat that pattern all the way around the rest of the base, that's gonna take a little bit of time, I do expect. Uh, yeah, so it took a short amount of time, a few blocks here, but I like the way that turned out. So I did mix in some uh, bottom side slabs, some top side slabs, tried varying them the, between the three different block types that we're using. So we are using stone, we're using stone brick, and we're using polished andesite. Those are our three blocks that we're using. Um, but yeah, like I said, I'm trying to vary in some of these slabs. I'm not trying to do them too much, but I do want to give it a little bit more variety. Uh, I could have thrown in, I guess, some stairs too, but then that's just adding in more blocks, more block types, having to like not make them all uniform, some upside down, some facing left, some facing right, etc. It's just easier with the slabs, just a top and bottom kind of a thing. But yeah, like we could vary it more, I suppose. But either way, I'm liking the way this turned out. So with uh, putting this, this uh, wall here, I decided I should add in this support column, this beam. We didn't have this before. This is only out to here. So yeah, added in this extra beam here, this beam across this one right here. And then what's cool about this is this will match that down there. Yeah. So we have the beam plus a plank and then a stair. And that's the same exact pattern that we have down here. We have the beam, a plank, and then a stair. Yeah. So turned out to be quite nice the way that all came together. The only thing I don't like is that these are too wide. If uh, this was only one wide, it'd be better. But you know what? It's not that big of a deal. I still like the way it came out regardless. Okay, okay, I get it. No more base work. Let's, let's leave that alone for now. Let's move on to something completely different, like TCG. Hmm. Yeah, so there is a, a card game on the server. If you guys haven't heard, you've been living under a rock. Uh, it is the trading card game, the Hermitcraft TCG, made by Vintage Beef. In fact, we went over to Beef's base a while ago, and he made us a card, and we rolled for the different abilities and all this stuff. This was uh, quite some time ago, actually, a few months. And, yeah, he has finished it now, and now the card game is active on the server. I played a few rounds. It's a lot of fun. Um, but, yeah, I haven't gotten a chance to show you guys any of it on camera yet so i want to show you guys the deck that i went up against b dubs with so that is the the first match in this bracket back here i don't want to get too close because i don't want to show you like who's won and stuff i don't know how, whose videos have been released and whatnot but yeah anyway so uh the problem that i have with this deck is i don't have a lot of cards which means i can't do one item type so we're doing redstone and we're doing farm so we're doing two different types so if i get some cards that require redstone but i've only gotten farm items i can't power that card up the other problem is b 
because I'm using two different types, I have to take up a lot of the spaces. You only get 42 cards total. I have to take up a lot of my spaces with half farm and half redstone. So between these two, that's 18 plus this one. That's 19 cards. Half my cards, well, I guess uh, that'd be 20. 20 of my cards are going directly to items so we can power up the hermits. So 20 cards of that, seven hermits only, which is not very many. I'd love to have a lot more. Yeah, this deck is not great. If we get the right combination of stuff and we get super lucky, it can be powerful, but unfortunately I just don't have enough cards to do like redstone only or farm only. And that's the biggest downfall to this deck right now. Uh, but yeah, this is the deck that I went up against B00 with, and without going over every single card, that's kind of, there's a lot of stuff to do that. Um, without going over every single card, let's just go ahead and jump into the match between me and B00 for this bracket. Are you ready to see me get destroyed? I'm get destroyed? How many, how many matches have you done, B dubs? Like six. Six? We're probably yeah. about the same level then. Like, I haven't done... Okay. Maybe I've done like 10, but it's not a lot. Okay. Yeah. Okay. But are you... Okay, let me ask you this. Mm hmm Have you ever played any um, similar card fighting games in your lifetime? You know, way back in the day, I played some Magic the Gathering. Like, way, way, way back when... Okay. But, okay. Uh, yeah, not like I was young. I didn't really know what I was doing. So right. That's that's something though that it, you got. So you you know how to do it. Then. Yeah, I have the advantage now. <laughs> now you have the advantage. Yeah, I might just. You know what? I quit. I quit. It's over. All right. Yeah. I, I just win. No. He's just conceded. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You guys both look like you're good, so are you guys ready? Ready. Ready. All right. This is the third TCG tournament match between Mr. B00, aka the Sleeper. Yes. And Hypnotized, aka the Honey Master. Ooh. All right. Wait, are you gentlemen ready? TCG song. TCG song. I got you. I got you. Yes. Okay, good. Bring it out. It's not official until, you know, we get that. Let's do it. Yeah. Nope. Wait, that's the wrong that's one. Right. That's, that's my bad. That's my bad. That's the wrong one. Here we go. This is the right one. T C G. There it is. Easy as one, two, three. One, two, three. T C G, baby, you and me. Yeah. <laughs> Beautiful. Beautiful. Okay, now it's official. It's official now. It's official. Yeah. Let's get this party started. I'll start the game with the random player. Good luck to both of you. Thank you. Here we go. Let's go. I mean, we're both doomed. We got to go against Etho after this, whoever wins. Oh, so it's not great. Yeah. yeah. Uh, <laughs> um, rip, rip to both of now. us, I guess. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, I do have a hermit. Oh, I didn't. All right. But, uh, yeah. Okay. So, Hypno, you since uh, B Dubs is going first, you put your hermit on the board first. Okay. I'll bring out an impulse and put a redstone on him. Mm-hmm. And <clears throat> pass. And that's it? No attack? Just Oh that's you can't it. attack. Right. Oh wait, no, I can't attack. Yeah, right? yeah. Correct. Yeah, first turn yeah. can't attack, so you're good. Okay. Alright. All right. We'll throw an item up on Tango. What are we gonna do here? Yeah, can't do that. I'm going to attack with a TNT. Kablamo. Yeah, we'll just do a skadoodle. Alright, let's check compatibilities. There's no compatibilities here, so skadoodle plus TNT is 110 to impulse. Gulp. That means he goes down to 140 and you also take 20 damage yourself. To 
Oh, and I pressed the button. Mm. All right. Don't worry, I'm going to have that problem too. <laughs> um Okay. I'll put a dock on here. We'll give him a an item. <clears throat> All right. And hit for 50. Coming uh, out blazing. Doing a bop. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, I'm going to go ahead and put a diamond armor on Tango. All right, then. And really can't do much else, so I'll go ahead and do another skadoodle for 50. Skadoodle for 50. All right. Okay. Um. Hmm. All right. We'll bring um Etho out AFK. I will pop a redstone onto Impulse. And <clears throat> I have a so Cub, you're gonna or mm -hmm. Hypno, you might be able to help me. That's vanishing. Vanishing, yep. Um, did you just vanish my diamond armor? That's he right. Did. <laughs> he did. B dogs. I'm so sorry. I, I didn't even get a chance to use it once. <laughs> wait, wait. <laughs> but does he get to use it once? That's my question. Because it says after the turn. Um, no. Nope, so this. So since you've played this, this then mm -hmm. vanishes the armor instantly, and then you attack. And it does the full damage because the armor has been vanished. Okay, gotcha. Okay. So hit for 70 with the curse of vanishing. Okay. I'm wow. so sorry. Wow. <laughs> Unbelievable. That's rude. That's rude. <laughs> oh gosh. Okay. We got some big plays going on here. Big plays. <laughs> big plays. It's looking very one sided though. It really is. I can't yeah. do anything. Let's uh, skadoodle for 50. Okay. Just down to 40 health. And then I'll All end right. my turn. Okay. I'm going to put a farm on dock. Uh, make impulse AFK. All right. Bring in dock. Now, I can only place one item. I can't place two items, right? On different people, I couldn't put something on Etho, could I? Uh, just one. If you so, you, you've already placed one this turn, so. Okay. You, okay. Gotcha. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Uh, you so can't that's attack because you switched. Yep. There you go. Yep. Okay. Well, I'm gonna throw another farm up on Tango, and I'm gonna ask a doodle for fifty. I need to get some cards in here. Down to 230. Hmm. Okay. Um. I'm put Tango on the board. Okay. AFK. Um. Put a double redstone on him. Ready? That was a mistake. That's okay. It's tournament time. Uh, shouldn't have put it on him. <laughs> Let's go. Um, then World Eater. This is new. So let me see what this is. Uh, flip a coin. If heads, attack doubles. If tails, attack is halved. Thanks right. a lot, Doc. Okay. So, so if you, you if you get the, the, the if you win, you win. Yeah, so if, if I this win, is I green. Win. If this firework oh, is green, it's over. I see. Yeah, okay. He loses the hermit, Goodness yeah. sakes, you're not getting hermits. Okay. Okay. See? And that's, that's game. it. You're Gigi. kidding me. Congratulations. That's unsatisfying. Yeah, that happens sometimes. It happens sometimes. We could play These best of three, be but I don't think that's wild. part of the rules. It's not part of the rules, is it? 
not part of the rules. So congratulations, B Dubs. Well played. Thank well you. played. Yep. It was unfortunate Thank that Hypno you. No was unable to draw a hermit, but those are the rules. So three tokens to you, B Dubs. There you are. Thank you. And then one token to Hypno. I get a consolation token. So yeah, unfortunately, the match ended the way I expected it would. Uh, my deck is not very good, and I got super unlucky by only drawing one Hermit. I've used that deck previously, and I've never been only able to draw one Hermit, but yeah, my luck ran out, and that's where we are on it. Unfortunately, I can't really buy any more of these packs to create a better deck at the moment. They're all out of stock until the tournament is done, right? So even if I wanted to buy more booster packs or hermit packs, which I can't afford at the moment, yeah, I don't have the tokens. Well, this one says it's in stock. I guess I could maybe play somebody else and then get an extra token. But yeah, I currently have two tokens, so I would have gone for a booster pack to try and get myself more hermits that way. But yeah, I think probably the hermit packs is where I need to go <laughs> so I can get more hermits of the types that I want and not have to do a dual item deck and go to just a mono item deck. I think that would really help me out if we could free up, you know, 10 cards for the other item types and then those other hermits we could just consolidate to one type and that would leave me a lot more room in there to put extra hermits in for sure. Well, don't worry guys, I'm not planning on putting a whole lot of TCG video inside these Hermitcraft episodes. I know not everybody is a fan of it, I understand. Card games aren't for everyone. But since that is a tournament that we were doing on the server as a group, I feel like having our match, especially since it was so short, inside one of these episodes definitely is the way to go. So, uh, especially for those of you who might not have even seen a TCG before, now you get a kind of an idea of what it's all about. It's a lot of fun. It's very addicting. <laughs> and I and I enjoy it. If I do uh, some live streams of Hermitcraft, I'll definitely be playing as many matches as I can on there. So if you're looking for more TCG content, that's where you're going to find it. But anyway, guys, that's going to do it for this episode. Let me know in the comments down below. What do you think about the, the palette, the block pattern that I'm using for the, the walls of the base? Do you guys like it? Do you dislike it? Let me know down there quickly because I'm going to be doing some more work off camera. If I need to change it, I need to know. I need to know ASAP. <laughs> yeah, I'm definitely going to be trying to get a lot of that stuff done off camera. So, uh, yeah, that's it for today. Thanks for watching, everyone. We'll see you next time. Take care. Bye-bye.